Keenan, Alicia, less than an hour away. Now we're already seeing people turn on the lights inside this polling location on the city's east side. And one of the races, as you mentioned, that Detroiters are going to be watching closely, the race for Mayor Mike Duggan, who swept the primary, is hoping that Detroit voters want him for a third consecutive term. He is facing off against attorney Anthony Adams, who was no stranger to city government. Adams served under Detroit's first black mayor, Coleman Young, and later served as deputy mayor under Kwame Kilpatrick. In Pontiac, current Mayor Deirdre Waterman didn't get enough write-in votes to land on the ballot today after campaign finance issues dropped her from the primary. Former House Minority Leader Tim Grimmel is taking on Alexandria Riley. That's the city's former chief development officer. Another mayoral race to watch is in Dearborn, where former state rep Abdullah Hamoud hopes to become the first Arab American elected to that position. The 31 year old is taking on Gary Warrencheck. Warrencheck was second to Abdullah in the primary. He's touted his experience working previously in both state and county government. And finally, Detroiters should keep an eye out today for Proposal R. If approved by the city's voters, it would create a task force to explore the idea of reparations for Detroit's black community. Now, that task force will look at ways to make amends for systemic and historic discrimination through housing initiatives or economic development programs. And again, we are less than an hour away from the polls opening today. They remain open until 8 p.m. tonight. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, we'll show you how two different local elections officials are working to combat misinformation. Much of it spurred from 2020. Reporting live this morning, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.